welcome back so here's to another video on arrays uh, we're going to initialize them a little bit differently again there are multiple different ways to do something just like in an, a regular language there is multiple different there are multiple different ways to say something as well so we're going to initialize it with using the final um, keyword which are used for constants and we're going to um, store the values in an array so I'm going to pause the video now and then I'll come back and you'll see the screen, <laughs> okay? Hello again! So now we have our program written out and I'm just going to talk through it, so line by line. So we have our final integer array length here is equal to 10. Final integer, it means it's a constant, it's not going to change, final will give you an error if you try and modify it, you will get an error and the error is cannot assign a value to final variable and the variable name is array length. It's good programming practice to have constants in capital letters. In the uh, video before last, we just put 10 here, but actually it's also better <laughs> depending on the size of the program. It could be really, really big program and then all of the constants are at the top or all of your array um, very uh, finals are at the top and then you can just modify them once and then it changes throughout your program and that's really useful because uh, we use the divide and conquer technique in a lot of programs to maintain them so breaking it down into smaller chunks and then it's easier to maintain also for software reusability um, if you're using the same final constant in multiple arrays throughout your program and if you have to change it it'll basically cascade change all of them together if you're if you're going to just change 10 here um, then it will change it all the way throughout your program which is really useful obviously that you have to keep in mind then if you're using the same uh, variable throughout your entire program that at the very very end of your program that you need um, you need to make sure wherever it's used that it's going to have the correct length <laughs> of the array um, and now we have the exact same as before int square open bracket square bracket array is equal to new int array length and now all we do in this for loop we have two for loops in this program and this for loop all we're doing is the assigning of whatever value to the index in the array so we said in the last video I had array and then I said to access the third element in the array you use array 2 but actually that's going to be the third element because it's 0 1 2 okay 0 1 2 <laughs> um, and now to calculate to add what we're going to add into the assignment to assign and store values within it we use the counter which is 0 if we read it this way because multiplication takes precedence over addition so in, I think in primary school, we used um, a thing called BIMDAS. So brackets, indices, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, and that's your order of um, precedence over each other. So you do mul multiplication first over addition. So if we have zero multiplied by two is zero plus two is two. So when, when the for loop goes once round, it's going to be zero as the index and two as the value. The next time around, it stores two from the previous time. So we have um, the one here is your counter because the first uh, zero was the first time and the second is one. So one multiplied by two is two plus two is four. So we have index one is equal to four and so on and so forth until it gets to the ninth element with, which is the 10th um, array 10 which is the, t the 10th element but it is uh, the ninth index and then all we're doing here is the exact same as the previous program so we're printing out our index and value as our placeholders um, percentage s and then just format uh, format modifiers here and then we have again another uh, for loop 
again with counter less than array dot length that's really important you cannot use less than or equal to when you're when you're referring to this because it will give you an error for out of bounds um system dot out dot print f here and then we have counter which is going to be zero to nine and then um whatever the value is for from the array counter which is up here which we've already assigned here okay that's it for today the next video will talk about bar charts and do another array we're going to stick with arrays for a little bit it's really important <laughs> um, it's important for um, also improving our programs as we're going along we're going to do an enhanced for loop we're also going to take a look at um, performance and memory and in, like these are all things that are part of your computer to make sure you write code efficiently and better and keep improving as you're going along just like when you're writing a language <laughs> And when you're writing an essay, you can make it more concise and more concise and more concise and it's done in steps. So um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please send them to learncomputerswithali at gmail.com. I'd be happy to answer them and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, thanks for watching.